dad's been shot seven times and I was like, holy cow. This isn't real right now. It was very real. The man who police say killed a woman and critically wounded that father is in a usual is in a, in a usually quiet Clay County town is tonight in police custody. This afternoon, the suspect in the Excelsior Springs shootings turned himself in nearly 10 hours away in Texas. I'm John Holt. I'm Lauren Halifax. A woman was killed and tonight a man is still fighting to live. Fox Force Malik Jackson talked with that man's son and with neighbors who say they're stunned by this violent act. It was on this street here shortly after midnight that a male and a female were shot. That female, a mother of two. A family friend describing the loss as horrific. As one family is stuck with just the memories of a mom, a nurse, and someone who cared for those around her, another is holding on to hope that their loved one will pull through. And I got to see him and I broke down. I had to walk out of the room. Nathan Neal's father shot seven times, including in the chest and in the jaw. The last Neal heard from his father was through a nurse. Tell Nathan I said I love him, and I was like, that really hit me hard. The Excelsior Springs police chief says the man that has now turned himself in had a previous relationship with a woman who was killed. A woman neighbors say offered to help them in a time of need, even though she didn't know them. She was real nice to come over and let my mom know if she ever needed anything or right across the street, come over and get me in. This small, isolated neighborhood hidden behind a hill, not used to violence of this nature. Oh, it's, it's unusual. I've never heard anything like it. It's shocking to me to let this happen, you know, for this to happen here in a small town like this. But something they know you must always be prepared for. It happens everywhere, small towns, big towns, cities, everywhere. You just got to be aware of your surroundings. The people who live here are now left with trying to understand how to move forward after such a terrible crime. I'm just hoping he makes it through. It's scary, very scary. I wouldn't want this to happen to anybody, especially to someone that has kids that are my kids' age. In Excelsior Springs, Malik Jackson, Fox 4, working for you.